Hello, it is Brands here, and today I will be hosting a tutorial on official editing support on how to uh, port Valorant maps into Blender or Cinema 4D. This will also go over texturing. First thing that you want to do is cr you want to create a folder with everything in UModel and UMap, as well as the configs text file that will be linked in the description. You will also want to have Java 64-bit installed, as well as Notepad++. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up the configs text document. Keep in mind where it says Unreal Engine 4 23. Next, we're going to head down to the Unreal Engine key and we're going to copy this AES key. Next, we're going to open up UModel. To change the path for the game files, you want to click these three dots. Go to your hard drive. Go to Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Content, Packs, select Folder. Check Override Game Detection. Choose Unreal Engine 4 and 4.23 and check Sound. Click OK and we're going to paste the AES key. Wait a bit as it is accessing the packs and it can be um, opened. Now that we're in the um, UMAP, U model, I'm sorry, we're going to do dot UMAP in the filter and check flat view. Next, uh, we're going to find the map that we want. Ascent is Ascent, um, Bonsai is Split, Duality is Bind, and Triad is Haven, and I believe Povegilia is the new, um, is the new Icebox map. Don't take my word on that one, though. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find the Beast Site of Bonsai. AKA split. We're going to right click, copy package path. Then we're going to minimize you model and just kind of drag this to the side. Next, you want to open up the config JavaScript. So you want to right click, edit with Notepad. Now, what you want to do next is you want to open up the configs text document again, copy this. And you want to delete everything that is in here and paste it so then it works properly. Next, we are going to paste this. So then um, make sure you save it and close it. And the thing that I just pasted is the package path from UModel. Next, we're going to go ahead, run the exporter. Next, you want to go ahead and keep in mind this package path right here, as we are going to paste that into Blender. Next, you want to go ahead and open up Blender. And once Blender is open, you want to go ahead and go to the scripting tab. Next, you want to click Open and find your Valorant map export um, folder. Next, we're going to open up the Python script. Make sure we copy this directory as well as it has these three folders in it. Next, we're going to delete this. We're going to paste the new directory just by pasting it. Okay, so once we run the script, as you can see, we have B site inside of a uh, split. So next, I'm going to delete everything in here except for the U map. And as you can see, if we set it to um, cycles, there is some stuff rendered, but not a lot. Now you can continue texturing in Blender, but what I like to do is go into Cinema 4D and texture it from there. So file. 
um, export, choose FBX, desktop, and uh, title it whatever you want. Now when we go back to our desktop, we should see the FBX. Next we're going to be opening up Cinema 4D. Once you are inside of Cinema 4D, what we want to do is we want to go to File, Open, Desktop, and we want to choose the FBX. Make sure that uh, the defaults are checked. Um, just make sure that you follow what's on here. Click OK. And as you can see, we have our place. Um, to move around in Cinema 4D, one is to the, like, the hand tool in Blender, three is to kind of pan around, and scroll wheel is zoom. So uh, now we are going to start texturing. So if you want to find the uh, specific texture of a certain uh, object, so in this case the crate, what I can do is I can, it's really easy. So we select this and we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna open up U model again and make sure in flat view, we're gonna paste this and you wanna find it. Click export and choose your uh, file where you have the export. And make sure you are exporting as a TGA. And now when importing it, you want to open up the game folder and just keep on clicking until we find it, you want to select the diffuse texture, click open, click no, and now we have part of it. The next thing that we have to do is this other one, so it's really simple. We copy this, make sure you do not copy the extension. Go ahead, select U map or U model again, paste it, you want to find it, click export, export it to the desktop again, go back to color, change the texture. And now we want to open up the second one. And now, as you can see, we have the crate fully textured. Now you want to do this with um, you want to do this with every single um, environment object. So we have to fill all of these with textures for it to be a fully textured map. But I did hope that you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And when also, and to export this back into Blender or keep on working in Cinema 4D, file, save as, and you want to save it, or I'm sorry, file, export, and you want to save this as an FBX. And that is all for this tutorial. I will be linking everything down in the description. Have a great day. My name is Brains, and peace.